to another edition of Stuggy Review Video Review. And, uh, as usual, I'm your host, Walt, and, uh, back for another weekly cigar review. And, uh, before I get into, uh, what cigar we're smoking today, just want to give you a little heads up. Uh, these reviews may be a little scarce. Um, y you should see them on the site weekly, but, uh, if you're a YouTube watcher, uh, chances are you might see, see them piecemeal. You know, one or two might show up early in the week. You know, you may not see another one for a week or two, uh, and that's all because of the move that I'm going through very soon. So uh, until I can, until I'm absolutely sure when my cable hookup's going to be for uh, my high-speed internet access, uh, I really have no way of, of getting the, the videos up on the site. So I'm trying to kind of stockpile them right now, and uh, I should be able to get them up once a week, but I'm, you know, I can't promise that. So I'm going to try to get enough of them done right now to cover me for a week or two. Uh, but, you know, there's probably going to be a little bit of a lapse on when you see these reviews. But, uh, anyway, up uh, this week's review is on the the Bolivar from uh, the Dominican Republic. And uh, when I think of Bolivar, this is not the cigar that I think of. Um, I've been smoking the uh, the Bolivar Cofradias for quite some time now and, uh, you know, really enjoyed that cigar. And uh, it wasn't until recently when uh, when I just kind of came across these on the on the JR website. Uh, I was going to order some more Cofradias, and I happened to see these, and uh, you know, kind of got a little confused because uh, when you look around on the web, uh, you usually find now you find a lot of these and not so many Cofradias. So you know, it really kind of confused me. These came out in uh, the middle of 2005. And uh, as I said, they're made in the uh, Dominican Republic, not in Cofradia Honduras like uh, the other ones, which are uh, which are the old uh, Boulevard Fuertes. As far as uh, the the Parliament's Pocket Encyclopedia is concerned, it's uh, it's the old uh, Fuerte blend with uh, a new name. But uh, just kind of wet the cap there. I'm going to use my scissors again. But uh, I got a little bit of notes for you. Um, this is the Lonsdale size. It's a 45 by six and a half. It's uh, the wrappers are uh, San Augustin Lajero. The uh, fillers are from the Dominican Republic in Nicaragua. And the binder is I'm going to really butcher this one. Havana Medio Tiempo. And uh, these are made in the General Cigar Dominicana factory in uh, in Santiago Dominican Republic. Uh, the price point on these uh, these these kind of vary a little bit. The uh, box price on the Lonsdale from JR Cigars is $76.95. And uh, if you were going to get a, a five pack, it looks like the Churchill size is the only available size, so you kind of have to go up a little bit. And that'll be $18.75. And uh, I got these at my local shop for $3.50 a piece. Um, and uh, they were on special. They were $3.50 a piece, buy two, get one free. Uh, apparently, these aren't very big sellers for him, so he was kind of clear out what he had left. So uh, everything got heavily discounted, and you know I ended up buying a bunch of them just because you know I was so used to the Confradias that you know I wanted to give these a shot, uh, you know, and uh, and go from there. But uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, open up the cap here. You know, nice and easy. The uh, the draw is pretty free. It's got a a little bit of a sweet flavor to it. A little bit of tobacco on there now. Okay. And, uh, you know, it, it, the draws are really nice. Uh, before I go ahead and light it, mm, you get sort of a, almost like a, like a coffee flavor from the wrapper. It's kind of nice. The, uh, it, you know, it's not the best looking wrapper out there. It's, uh, it's kind of lumpy. It's got lots of oily specks, which is always nice, but, you know, it's kind of lumpy. There's some veins running throughout it. It looks kind of dry. The, uh, when you feel it, there's a couple of soft spots here and there. Uh, for the most part, it feels firm, but there are some definite hollow spots, or, or soft spots. And, uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and light this bad boy up, and we'll get started. Now, this is supposedly the, the powerhouse of uh, the Boulevard line. Uh, this is supposed to be more full-bodied and full-flavored than the Cofradias that, uh, that I'm accustomed to. So, you know, keep that in mind as we go through this review.
Mm. Lighting, it took a little bit of persuasion, but uh, got it all evenly lit now. Uh, volume of smoke's decent right off the right off the bat. Uh, it's uh, <coughs> it's a little dry on the palate, but uh, you know we're just starting out, so you know that that uh, may change. Uh, it's about medium body. It's uh, it's got like a woody flavor so uh, right from the start. But uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, I'm not going to really get into it, what the cigar is doing until uh, I get a little bit further in. Then uh, we can really determine you know what's going on. And uh, well, before I sit back and get further into this, uh, my apologies for the noise. If you happen to hear the fans, I got two fans running. Uh, we had a little bit of a thunderstorm come through, knock out the power for a little bit, but. Uh, it's like incredibly hot under these lights. It's very humid. It's uh, about 10:30 at night, but uh, I've got the fans on to try to move as much air as possible, so that I'm not like dripping in sweat from these these allergen lights. Anyway, so uh, my apologies if it sounds like I have a, like a turbine engine going behind me, but uh, you know I just gotta, gotta deal with it this time around. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna smoke a little bit more of my Boulevard Lonsdale, and I will be back in just a second. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting underway on the first third, and uh, something I wanted to point out before the ash falls off. Uh, sometimes I get strange looks because I, I really pay a lot of attention to the, the burn line and the ash. And uh, if you remember uh, back when we did the, the characteristics of the cigar and I was pinching it, I said that it felt like there was uh, a couple of soft spots in there. Uh, I actually said a hollow spot in there at one point. <laughs> but uh, you actually see it in the wrapper. Uh, I, I took some pictures of it. We'll, we'll see how how well it shows up. But uh, actually, right there, you actually it's coming up as a dark spot on the camera. There's a uh, kind of a void missing uh, in in the ash. Um, all the way around the cigar looks good. It, you know, it's got uh, that outer ash just like it should except for when you hit that that void you know it goes pretty deep and uh... It, it's a it's a it's a considerable void but uh... just thought I'd, i would point that out and uh... give you a little more reason to uh... to really pay attention to your burn lines and uh... and your ash uh... you know something sometimes uh... interesting things turn up but uh, anyway the uh... the ash is holding on pretty firm uh... it's uh... It, it's about average gray. Uh, you know, it's not light. It's not dark. It's uh, kind of banded looking. You know, light and dark spots running throughout. The uh, it, it's fairly firm. I had to kind of force it off a little bit there. As you can see, the uh, the volume of smoke is still still really good. I'm getting uh, uh, a lot of dense smoke. It's a uh, type of smoke that, uh, again, it's easy to blow smoke rings, uh, kind of get through your sinuses. It's easy to move around. It it's feels, you know, thick and dense. It, uh, it it does leave you with the feeling that it, it's coating your mouth. Uh, the finish is dry. Uh, the best way I can explain it is uh, it's like a slight case of cotton mouth. Uh, you know, you, uh, it just feels like your mouth is dry. And not only does it get you in the front of your mouth, it... Uh, it gets you all the way back in your throat too, uh, and that's that's a characteristic of cigars that I'm. Um, uh, I, I really don't like that that flavor profile or that that type of finish. Uh, it, it's smooth. There's there isn't any harshness or bite to it. The uh, the base flavor is still. Uh, it, it's more of a, a woody component, and uh, I can taste uh, some Connecticut tobacco in there. And uh, the reason I know I can taste it is because I usually attribute that a little bit of a dryness to it. And uh, it's just one of those flavors that I, I don't like, and it's easy for me to key in on it. But uh, you know, overall, it's not doing too bad uh, right now. The uh, after you take a puff and you set the cigar down in the ashtray, it does put off a considerable amount of resting smoke. It is burning a little fast. Uh, it's staying cool, so so the the accelerated burn's not really a problem so far. Uh, I can imagine it being a problem once the cigar gets really short. But you know, 
for the meantime, uh, I really don't have anything to worry about there. So, uh, I, oh, oh, by the way, I am drinking this with water. Um, it, it's uh, it's kind of it's it's that dry that I'm I'm constantly sipping on water. Uh, I usually drink a considerable amount of water when I'm smoking a cigar, just because I like to keep my palate uh, wet or damp, or, or you know, I, I just like to keep it flushed and and ready to go for each puff. But uh, I'm drinking a lot of water because of how dry the cigar is for me. You know, the, the draw is still real nice, too. And uh, I'm getting like a bitter chocolate uh, cocoa kind of flavor from the wrapper, which is which is nice. Uh, you know, it's not something I get very often or that I notice very often. But uh, so far, it, you know, the first third's going well. So I'm going to uh, sit back a little and work my way into the second third and, you know, be back to discuss this some more. As you can see, we're getting into the uh, second third of the cigar now, and uh, it's performing very well. It's, uh, it's putting a lot of smoke off, uh, the resting smoke. There's uh, quite a bit of it. It uh, really fills the room kind of fast. Uh, it, it's not really offensive. It's not bothering me at all. It's, uh, it, you know, it's, uh, it's just a lot of it. Um, it's uh, it's very, pretty even. Uh, you know, the burn line varies a little bit, but... It's, uh, again, uh, just like last week, or like the review for last week, it's actually the following day. Uh, I, I've got a big draft coming through the window, so I'm getting a little bit of variation coming in uh, on the burn, you know, with the air hitting one side and not the other. The uh, the draw is still real real free. It's nice. The, uh, the finish is still uh, dry. You know, it's really getting me in the back of the throat. Uh, it's It's more dry than I would really prefer. The volume of smoke is really good. It's uh, it's really pumping out the smoke, which is nice. Uh, I really like a cigar that does that. The uh, the base flavor is still uh, woody, uh, but it's got uh, like a salty flavor to it and a sweet flavor to it. It's you know it's uh, it's like a sweet and salty mix. If you ever had that, it's you know it's sort of the same thing going on with the cigar. You know, every puff's a little. It puffs a little different. You know, you get that. Uh, it's a woody base with uh, sweet and salt, or sweet, sweet and salty uh, kind of undertones or aftertaste. And uh, you know, it's not bad when you kind of roll the smoke through your sinuses. Uh, I'm getting a peppery aroma, and uh, you know, overall, the cigars. Uh, everything is nice, with the exception of the dry flavor. Uh, I, you know, I'm really not liking that dry flavor, but uh, you know, I can deal with it for the time being. So uh, with, uh, with that said, I'm going to sit back, smoke a little bit more, and uh, we will be back one final time to uh, kind of combine the final third and the, uh, my overall impressions. So see you then. Folks, it's about time to wrap up my uh, my Bolivar, uh, Lonsdale, and uh, as you can see, I'm you know I've got about two maybe two and a quarter inches left. Uh, uh, it, it's uh, usually I smoke cigars down much further than this, but uh, this time around, it's uh, I think it's going to be a short ending for this cigar. Um, let's uh, let's start off with the the simple stuff. The, uh, it's still putting off a lot of resting smoke, but again, it's it's really not bothering me. It's not an offensive odor. Um, the, you know, the aroma is not over the top. It, it, you know, it really doesn't bother me in any way. Um, the uh, the burn rate is it's a little quick. Uh, it's about you know quarter to quarter to twelve right about now. Uh, so so the smoke time on the cigar has been pretty good uh, for me. The uh, the draw's been it's been really good uh, all the way through the cigar. It's uh, it's still putting off lots of smoke, and uh, it's still like a really dense, thick smoke. Uh, 
the uh, the finish is still dry, and uh, and that's one of the reasons why this cigar is going to end up being short for me. Um, uh, yeah, I just I'm really not into this uh, this dry this dry feeling that I'm getting in my mouth and in the back of my throat. It's uh, you know you know it's it's uh, it, it's just a character a characteristic of the cigar that uh, that I don't like, and uh, it's something that I'd rather not push through and, and smoke the cigar down to the nub. Uh, you know, I think I got my money's worth out of the cigar. So, you know, I'm only going to go a little bit further and then that's going to be it. The, uh, the body's medium to full. I'm, uh, in, uh, when you read up on the cigar a little bit on the internet, you'll see that it's, uh, it's claimed to be full body then the most full bodied cigar in the line. Um, uh, I, I think it's medium to full. I think it would be a real stretch to call it a full body cigar. The, uh, the base flavor is still woody, and uh, you know you get a little bit of that sweet and salty kind of mixture going on, but it's not as much now toward the end as it was in the middle of the cigar. Uh, the, the flavor overall is not bad. It's uh, you know it's a it's a, like a dense woody flavor. It's it's not bad. But uh, my overall impressions of the cigar are are this. Um, it, it, it's a it's a well constructed cigar, uh, with the exception of that one little void in what looked like the outer layer of the filler. That was the only real problem I came across. Now the, the, it looked like the cap was put on a little crooked, but again, it, you know, it didn't come off. Uh, it, it didn't cause any problems while I was smoking. So, uh, it, as far as I'm concerned, it really wasn't a problem. The uh, the ash has been nice and firm. It's been a consistent color. It's not really crumbly or anything like that. So, you know, overall, the, the cigar's constructed well. It, it's got some nice flavors to it, but as far as me buying another one in the future, probably not. Uh, and the reason being that I really don't like the, the finish. And uh, it's it bothers me enough that I'd probably avoid buying it in the future. Uh, it, it's, I'm not saying it's a bad cigar or anything. It's just uh, not my cup of tea. So there's really no sense for me to buy it if I'm not going to like it. Um, if uh, this would be the perfect cigar to to have in a pub or a cigar friendly bar, uh, because the you know the bar owner would want to make this cigar available to the patrons simply because it, it really dries you out and you're constantly sipping on something to to get rid of that dry flavor and uh, you know it just think of like eating salty potato chips, pretzels, peanuts, things of that nature that really kind of get you drinking more. Uh, just think of, just associate this cigar with drinking more, take, you know, more intake, whether it's water, beer, whatever. You, you know, you're just going to drink more because you get that dried out feeling in your mouth. Um, personally, I prefer the, the Cofradia uh, much more than I do this cigar. Uh, I think that's a much better cigar. Uh, I, I like the flavors a lot more. I've, been, I've, I've smoked them considerably. Um, over the past couple of years, and uh, you know, I really like that cigar. I'm really not fond of this one. So, uh, really, there's not a whole lot more to say. So I'm not really going to drag it out. Uh, so, you know, that's that's all there is to it. That about does it for the the Bolivar from the Dominican Republic. But before I get out of here, I want to mention uh, one more thing. Uh, I registered for uh, a new website. But, uh, you know, it's not really new. It, it's still in the early stages, uh, from what I see. But I registered back in the end of April. Didn't have time to, to set it up and really get involved until today, uh, which, you, you know, I did sit down and got, I got involved a little bit more, and that is herfspace.com. It is the MySpace for cigar smokers. Uh, it's set up just like MySpace. You know, you get friend requests, and you've got your own little blog, your own... Uh, picture gallery and all that other stuff you know and it's it's pretty neat so uh, if you get a chance head over to stogiereview.herfspace.com and uh, check out the stogie reviews page that's uh, all, all that information that's up there right now is my information and uh, I'm kind of tying the site into it and uh, you know it's been fun so far so and there's a a lot of um, regular community members in there uh, Dale's a member uh, and there's a couple other uh, members from other cigar boards that are there so anyway uh, definitely check out her space, give it a look, and uh, see what you think. And uh, that about does it for this week's review of the Bolivar from the Dominican Republic. So, 
as always, I appreciate you for taking the time to watch the videos. Uh, looking forward to your comments and questions, and uh, I will see you next week. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to smoke yet, but uh, you know, I'll fill you in somewhere. Maybe I'll put it on the Herspace page and you know let you know what I'm going to smoke in there. So, anyway, until next time, happy smoking.